So in this case, a times b plus c can be changed to a formula that would read as a times b plus a times c. Okay? You got that? Hey, you okay? You seem distracted by something. <sighs> wow, <laughs> that question would have usually gotten me a puffy combat from my figure from you. No, it's alright. I'm already used to them by now. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> it's okay. I don't mind some familiarity. It makes our communication easier. And besides that, you're a good person and a pretty good learner too. <laughs> ada, ada. You look like I hit enough or something. I. that's it. Our lesson won't progress until we do something about you first. So... Hop up! Oof, you must be really down. Your young, good-looking tutor is technically asking you to be in bed with her. And you're not jumping at the first chance to do it? Uh-uh. Don't try to play the girlfriend card with me. I know you don't have one. Cause I saw you taking out your trash when I arrived today and you use a lot of tissues. And you're not sick right now, so... Yeah, I can do the math. I'm a math tutor after all. <laughs> oh? Was that a smoke I saw? Did my jokes finally go through? Of course I worry about your well-being. You're my student, after all. But enough sidetracking to bed with you. <laughs> You're blushing. Are you feeling shy? This is payback for all the dirty jokes, you prick. <laughs> what are we gonna do? Well, I'm a grown woman with my student laying back on my chest in their bed while we're all alone in their house. There's only one thing we can do. Head pats, of course. Get your head out of the gutter, sweetie. So, what happened at school? Well, of course I know it's something school-related. Because when I said you're a good learner, you looked even sadder. You failed your evaluation test. But, well, you, sweetie, you shouldn't feel bad about those. Well, because those tests are usually just to see how you're doing on your knowledge. And since you just came back from a winter break, well, I don't know what your teacher was expecting. School breaks are meant for rest, playing games, doing your hobbies, you know, having fun. <laughs> yeah, I do love math, but not even I study it during breaks. There was once one break where I completely forgot about my backpack at all until the night before returning to classes. That night I found inside the moldiest sandwich you can ever think of. <laughs> well, it became my science project two weeks after that. Silver medal, by the way. <laughs> Sorry, my point is... Don't feel bad for failing that test. It happens sometimes, and whenever it does, what you have to do is get back up and keep moving forward. If you view failure on a negative light, it will only breed more failure. But if you view failure as a learning experience, it will breed success eventually. Ancient cavemen had to fail and touch fire in order to learn it's harmful for us. But also those fire experiments led to them learning how to cook the meat of their preys. You can find a lot of examples like that throughout history where a mistake had to be done in order to improve. Because as humans, we are, we are empiric creatures, so we learn via experiences. 
But what we sometimes discard is that we have to learn from both good experiences and bad ones. Like when we started this private lesson, you were really bad at math. Now you're one of the top five from my class. You were really bad at math. But look at you now. You're one of the top five students from your class. We started by looking at what you did. You have most problems understanding, and then slowly but surely, we solve those issues one by one. Mm, I have an offer. When you get that test back, bring it to me. I might not be an expert or teacher on other subjects, but I could still help you identify where you're having problems, okay? So whenever you fall, just stand back up, dust off, and keep trying again, and again, and again, while moving forward. Um, if you feel, if you need motivation, just look around you. Someone close to you is bound to be cheering or praying for your success. I know I'll be cheering for your academic success. No, I won't do it in a cheerleader outfit. No, I won't review the test with you while in bed. <laughs> but I'm relieved to see you're doing better and cracking jokes again. Tell you what, if you do well for the remainder of the semester, I'll give you another head pot session. But well means like at least an A on everything. Yes, that includes PE. I told you, I don't worry about you, so chin up, okay? I'm here for you, whatever it is. Say, we almost ran out of time for today's lesson. So, what do you say about having some ice cream to kill the remaining time? From your fridge, of course. Your treat. Silly.